Hello teachers, in this video I'll show you how you can create a quiz or a test or an exam for the students in which you are going to upload your own question paper which you have made on the pen and uh, pen uh, uh, using the pen and paper and you could upload that picture for the students to uh, have a look at it and do the question paper and you would expect that the students should write that answers those answers on their answer sheet and click a picture and upload to you so that you can check it later. Now. So to do this, you need to actually enter the application once. Once you've done that, you need to go to the school. So I'm entering my school here, just like this. Now teachers, here you can see that I want to enter my specific course. I go to my courses and I want to press my course button here. Now once I'm into that particular course, I will now go to the option of turn editing on. So where I can just edit uh, all the things which I want to add. So general in my general section, I'll not add my quiz here. I'll add my quiz in the force, mass and pressure button, for example, first uh, pressure topic. So under this, I need to press the button called as add an activity or resource button. So once I'm pressing that, you can see that a new page will open up for me, right? Now, this way I can see that an add, add an activity or resource button is here. Now I'll choose the quiz option. Quiz, test or exam is all the same teachers. Okay. So once I'm entered into this, I'll, I'll write the name as maybe uh, test on force so I can just write test on force done under description for example if I want to just add something in the description I can do that so I'll write maybe uh, write questions write answers on a sheet and upload so I'll quickly do that that's how now timings is examination when this exam is going to open so for example the timing for example i want to choose it as it's a maybe a maybe a two hours of test so today if i start this at 12 so today if i start at 12 12 o'clock sharp everybody must must start doing this quiz at 12 o'clock so i need to pre pre, uh, pre tell, uh, tell the, all the students that this test is going to be there so they will be ready at this specific time and this test will clo close at 2 o'clock let's assume that it's going to be a test of uh, 2 hours okay now time limit is because we have given a 2 hours session so we can keep, keep it as 120 minutes okay now go to the open attempts as submitted automatically this is how now teachers because uh, if you want to keep uh, because if it's the first time you're giving a quiz to the student so you can just keep the window open like for a two days time or three days time because maybe if the students are doing it for the first day they need time for that so keep it open for three days this is my advice to you okay submission grace period you can leave it under the grade section teachers you need to ent uh, only enter the attempts allowed one because since it's a test I'll leave the other things now question behavior you can shuffle if you want uh, review options under the review option there are so many options which you can control that the even after the test that the student should not see the number of attempts or the marks which you can just choose to not show them simply by here now restrict access you need to uh, if you have different sections you can use that under activity completion you need to go to the uh, third option and choose this student must be this activity to complete it this is important and expert completed on so this you can give it a today's time of let's say this must be completed by this time for example and save and display so once that is done so when you press the save and display so now teachers you can now add questions you need to add a question paper here right so to do that you need to just go to the edit quiz option here once you have done the edit quiz just go to the add a question a new question a new question but this will be of the essay type so this yeah so I've just added that question and the question name will be for example question paper so just write question paper so question paper will be the name of that particular yeah, question name now question text another question text you now need to upload the photo of the question paper so just go into this option in the menus of in the image option enter uh, the browse repository means where do you find this question paper so just press on browse repositories if you have anything which is saved in your in your laptop or computer or phone you can just choose the file 
uh, I'll just choose to take a photo or video because maybe I have the uh, question paper ready. So, for example, this is my question paper, and I'm clicking it. Okay, so this is the way I'm using the photo. Okay, and I'll just press press on the save as. This will be the question paper. So I'll just write question paper as a file name. That's it, teachers. And I'll press the upload this file button. So once I'm done the upload this file button, I need to put the description not necessary. Put it here, description not necessary, and save the image. That's it, teachers. You can see that the students can now see the. Uh, now to the question paper so that's all teachers now you need to come down response format and because you are only wanting the students to submit the answer sheet in the form of image so you need to you need to choose no online text uh, it's very important no online text now the student will only see the will only see the uh, upload option so required text in inbox uh, size will be disabled allow attachment yeah of course you want to maybe upload three or unlimited that's your choice allow attachments Require attachments which are compulsory for a student to attach is maybe one. So without one file, the answer will not get submitted. Um, under this accepted file type, choose you have to choose and choose all file types and save changes. Once that is done, teachers, that's all you need to do and save changes and continue editing. So uh, here your question is made. So I'll just go to the bottom and I'll press the save changes button. And you see this question is is now added. Question paper is now added. All you need to do is maybe modify the question paper marks here. You could have done that uh, previously while editing the question as well but maybe you can do it from here as well if you want to so i'll write it as ten marks okay that's it so this will be saved ten marks maximum grade ten marks and then i'll save it so my question paper is now made uh, in which I have uploaded maybe five questions. Student will be see uh, will be seeing five all of them and will be answering uh, on their answer sheet. So to uh, to check this if this um, you know how the how the question paper looks like. So you can just go to the maybe this course and uh, you can just go to your quizzes option here. You see quiz option. Just go to the quiz option and see the name of the uh, question paper was test on quiz so test on force so here you see it, it's mentioned this is the particular topic name uh, test name so it's here so after after it once the student starts to attempt you see the attempts will come here so like just like this the attempts one from your group so this these attempts uh, will come here right teachers so you need to uh, press on those attempts and then you will be able to check the responses that the students have made so this is the process how to how to make a question paper for the test and upload a question paper for the students so this is how you can do it thank you teachers thank you so much for watching if you have any queries just post the queries uh, in the comment section below and we'll be very happy to address them thank you